Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's put into practice what we've learned. We've been given a circuit and we're trying to find the load impedance such that we get the maximum average power transfer to that load impedance. What we need to do, of course, is find the equivalent Thevenin circuit. We need to find the equivalent Thevenin impedance and the equivalent Thevenin voltage. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we remove the voltage source, we replace it with a short, and we try to find the impedance here. Notice from here to there, we have this in series with these impedances, and of course, those are in parallel to one another. That means that Z Thevenin is equal to this impedance, J5, plus we use the product over the sum method, so it would be 4 multiplied times 8 minus J6, divided by the sum, which would be 4 plus 8 minus J6. So now we have to uh, simplify that. So this is equal to J5, and here we get, uh, mm, let's see here, that would be uh, plus 4 times 8, which is 32, 4 times the minus 6, which is minus J24, all divided by, that would be 12 minus J6. All right, I think what I need to do now is first convert to magnitude and phase angle format. So 32 squared plus 24 squared, that gives 1600, take the square root of that, that would be 40. All right, so this is equal to, Thevenin and impedance is equal to J5. And that would be plus 40 with a phase angle of that's 24 divided by 32, that's 175, take the inverse tangent of that, and a negative, that would be negative 36.87, 36.87 degrees. And in the denominator, we have 144 plus 36, that's 180, take the square root of that, we get 13.416. 13.416 with a phase angle of, that would be one half, so 0.5, take the inverse tangent, that's 26.565 degrees, that would be negative 26.565 degrees, which is, all right, so we get uh, 40 divided by 13.416, that gives us 2.98, so it gives us J5 plus 2.98 with a phase angle of, that would be 36.87, make that negative, and then we add to that 26.565, that gives us a minus 10.305 degrees. Now we have to convert back to the real and imaginary part, so Z Thevenin is equal to J5. Okay, so we get uh, two, well, first of all, let's take the cosine of 10.305, 10.305, take the cosine of that, and multiply that times uh, 2.98. That gives us 2.93. So that would be plus 2.93 minus J, uh, so that would be, uh, let's see here, uh, 10.305, take the sine of that, multiply times 2.98 equals minus 0 0.53, uh, 0 0.53, and so that gives us 2.93 plus 4.47, J 4.47. So here we have the Thevenin impedance of our circuit. Now we need to find the Thevenin voltage. So that means that we have a voltage there that's created by this voltage divider. We have the four ohms here, we have the eight ohms minus J six ohms over here, which means that the Thevenin voltage, V Thevenin, is equal to the voltage supplied, that's 10 with a phase angle of zero degrees, multiplied times this divided by the sum of the two, that would be 8 minus J6 divided by the sum of this plus this, that gives us 12 minus J6. So before we can divide that, we need to convert that to magnitude and phase angle format. And let's see if uh, anything is the same. Yeah, the denominator is the same. 
so that would be equal to 10 with a phase angle of 0 degrees times the denominator here is the same as the denominator here which converts to 13.416 with a phase angle of minus 26.565 degrees Things a little bit bigger 565 degrees like this what about the numerator uh, we have 8 and 6 that's 64 and 36 that adds up to 100 take the square root that's 10 with a phase angle of 6 divided by 8 so 6 uh, divided by 8 uh, that's 0.75 yep and take the arctangent of that would be hmm, that again 6 divided by 8 take the inverse tangent 36.87 degrees that would be minus 36.87 degrees wow that's the same setup as we have over here on the angle so we have 10 times 10 which is 100 divided by 13.46 so v tevenin is equal to 100 divided by 13.416 equals that's 7.45 volts 7.45 with a phase angle of minus 10.305 degrees okay now let's see here uh, I think I want to convert that to uh, real and imaginary part so let's go ahead and do that so take the cosine of that so 10.305 take the cosine of that times 7.45 which is 7.33 and that would be minus j and take 10.305 take the sine of that times 7.45 that gives us a minus j of 1.33 all right so here's the Thevenin impedance and there's the Thevenin vo oh, sorry Thevenin voltage it might help if I put a bracket around and put volts there and if I put a bracket around this and put ohms there so at least we know the difference Thevenin impedance Thevenin voltage we're now ready to find the maximum power transfer so first of all the load impedance z of the load must be equal to the complex conjugate of the Thevenin impedance so one of the things we're trying to find is we're trying to find the load impedance even though that has to be the complex conjugate of the Thevenin impedance which means it's a complex conjugate of this which means that that must equal 2.93 minus j 4.47 ohms so now we have our first part of the problem we found the impedance of the load in such a way that this will then give us the maximum power transferred to the load impedance next we need to find the average maximum power which is equal to the voltage Thevenin squared divided by 8 times the load resistance hmm the load resistance is of course where are we here the load resistance is going to be 2.93 and the voltage Thevenin's is given by this right here so we need to square that and divide by 8 times the load resistance so notice that the that's the magnitude of the voltage squared divided by 8 times the load resistance so this would be equal to uh, 7.45 quantity squared divided by 8 times the load resistance which has to be 2.93 so let's see what that is equal to 7.45 we square that divided by 8 and divided by 2.93 and that would be 2.37 watts And there you have it so to find the maximum average power transferred and to find the impedance of the load to make that happen we first find the equivalent impedance of the circuit or the Thevenin, uh, the Thevenin impedance of the circuit we find the Thevenin voltage of the circuit 
then we realize that the impedance of the load is equal to the complex conjugate of the impedance of the Thevenin circuit. Since that's the impedance of the Thevenin circuit, we change that to a negative sign. That gives us the impedance of the load required to have maximum power transferred. And then we know the equation is the Thevenin voltage squared divided by 8 times the resistance of the load. The voltage squared, we take the mag magnitude of the voltage, we square that, divided by 8 times the resistance of the load right here, and that gives us the power transferred. And that is how it's done.